Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today we will discuss about how to load in .NET Core. What is the agenda of today's video? First we will discuss about what is how to load in .NET Core. Then we will create a new ASP.NET Core web app. Implement the basic web page. Enable hot reload. Then test hot reload. Before that, if you are new to my channel, please do not forget to subscribe. Thank you. First we will discuss what is hot reload in .NET Core. So it is a feature in .NET Core that enables developers to make code changes during application runtime without the need to manually stop and restart the application. It allows for a more interactive and iterative coding experience by providing real-time updates to the running application by reducing the development time and improving the productivity. With Hot Reload, developer can modify code like c -SAP, HTML, CSS, JavaScript and see the changes applied immediately without losing the application current state. It eliminates the need for tedious application restart, preserving the application state and reducing downtime. Wide range of code changes supported by Hot Reload, such as adding, modifying, or removing method properties and classes, as well as updating HTML and style sets. It can be particularly used during development, debugging, testing phase, allowing developers to quickly experiment and iterate through their code. It supports various development environment and tooling, such as Visual Studio, Visual Studio Core, and .NET CLI. It is important to note, Hot Reload is different from Hot Module Replacement. Hot Module Replacement is some front-end framework like React or Angular. What is the difference between Hot Reload and Hot Module Replacement? Hot, hot Reload in .NET Core primarily focused on server-side code changes, while Hot Module Replacement in front-end framework enable real-time update to the client-side UI components without refreshing the entire page. Next, we'll see ASP.NET Core web application that demonstrates the usage of Hot Reload. First, we need to create a ASP.NET Core web app project. To do that, I'll open my Visual Studio. First, we'll create a new project. We'll select an option ASP.NET Core Web App and click on Next. Here, I'll name my project. That will be Demo App. I'll click on Next button. Our default project is ready. Next, what we'll do, we'll click on Pages folder. We'll open index.cshtml. We'll remove those codes. We'll add a simple text like H1. Welcome to Hot Reload Demo. And next, I'll just show the current date in the browser. For that, I'll keep it on the P tag. I'll type current date is date time dot now. I'll save this. So our UI is ready. Next, we'll enable Hot Reload. How to do that? I'll click on the project, right click here, open in terminal. Here, I'll enter the CLI command to enable Hot Reload, that is .NET. Watch. I'll hit enter. Now, it will enable Hot Reload for us. Now, the browser has started and it is accessible through the local development server. Next, we'll test Hot Reload. For that, what I'll do, I'll just make some changes in the index.cshtml file. For example, currently, we have here, this time is set to IST, so it is showing 1834. 
now i'll change it to for example utc now you can see i have just changed it to utc now and click on save you can see now browser is updated with utc time next we we'll change the h1 tag here i just write welcome and i'll hit save again you can see in at down hot reload of changes succeeds now it will again without doing or refreshing the page the content are getting changed or the ui is getting changed with the current value this is how you can use hot model in a project in this way you can continue making changes to your code during run time and observe how hot reload instantly applies those changes without restarting the application you can use that to test various scenarios like modifying html css c sharp code and see how hot reload speeds up the development process we are done with the demo now thank you for watching my video please do not forget to subscribe thank you